Hello everybody and welcome again to tutorial number four. In this video segment, I'm going to show you how to center drill the bolt hole circle holes with center drill diameter uh, 0.25. Then after that, I'm going to duplicate the center drill operation and drill the bolt hole circle holes with a drill of diameter 316 or 0.1875 so let's get started all right so this is our part uh, for tutorial number four and so far we have completed five operations uh, we have done the facing operation then pocket facing uh, then we did the spot drill for these four holes uh, drill and then tap to cut the thread so it's time to center drill the bolt hole circle holes with a center drill of diameter 0.25. So we go to tool parts and then from the 2D section I select the drill. Okay. Now the message is to select one or more entities to add or remove from the features list. So I can select these uh, circles one by one but I think it will be uh, time wasting. So I just want to show you more advanced selection method uh, using the mask on arc. What it does actually, uh, we can select an arc to match. For example, we select one of the circles and then after that we make a window around uh, the geometry, the entities. And what happens is only circles that have a diameter 0.1 875 will be selected okay so this is more advanced tool one more thing is uh, what we can do is the sort of of a drilling currently we will start at this uh, circle at this hole and then we go like this uh, let's say I, I don't like to start here I, I want to start here or here or wherever so uh, we can change this by going to selected order and then uh, scroll down I'm going to select point to point option so the message is select a start point now I can decide where to start so for example I want to start at this point then we go this way counterclockwise okay we click OK to proceed with the rest of the uh, operation parameters now uh, toolpath type uh, shows up with the drill set so we proceed to the tool uh, page now I'm going to go to the library select the library tool and using the filter I'm going to clear the previous selection with none and what I'm after is a center drill of diameter 0 0.25 0 0.25 then click OK so here we are, I, I have two tools that uh, meet my requirements. As you can see, tool number seven, tool number eight. So uh, the only difference is actually the length of the center uh, drill. So length is, is, is not a, a big deal for me, so I'm going to select this one, three center drill. Okay, click OK. So this is tool number six, length offset six. Uh, spindle direction is clockwise spindle speed I can set it maybe to 2000 uh, feed rate let's say 7 okay and I'm going to add a little comment here say for example center drill the 8 uh, bolt hole circle Holes. It's always good to add comment so that people will understand our program. Then we jump to the cut parameters and for uh, the count cycle type I'm going to select a drill counter bore which is G81. Linking parameters, clearance set to 2, absolute and I want to use clearance only at the start and end of operation so that's perfect. Uh, retract position absolute 0.65 okay. uh, top of stock top of stock in this case is 0.45 uh, 
absolute and for the depth uh, I want to go down just 0.1 so 0.45 minus 0.1 it gives me 0.35 absolute okay then I want also to turn the coolant on click OK so this complete the uh, center drill operation all right so the next thing that we want to do is to drill the eight bolt hole circle holes through all using a drill of diameter 316 or 0.1875 so what we can do uh, we can copy the center drill operation and change a few things so to copy right click and drag the mouse beyond the red insert marker and once you release the right mouse button we will see this uh, pop-up menu so we can choose copy after then after that we just move the red insert marker and then we extend the list of operation 7 now here I need to change a few things we need to change the tool we need to change the can cycle we need to change the depth so we click on parameters and then to change the tool I'm going to click on select library tool using the filter I clear the previous selection so we click on none and then we click on a drill what I am after is a drill of diameter equal to 0.1875 then we click OK. So that is actually the, the required tool, 316 drill, diameter 0.1875. Click OK. So that's tool number seven, length offset seven, spindle direction like always clockwise, uh, spindle speed, I'm going to set it to 4000. Uh, feed rate, uh, maybe 12 inches per minute. And I'm going to modify this uh, little uh, comment here. I can say drill the eight bolt hole circle holes. All right, cut parameters. The count cycle for the, for the drilling operation, I want to make it cheaper break. So pack a drill actually, and the pack value is set to 0.1, so I'm going to leave it as is. Linking parameters. Clearance is set to two inches absolute use clearance only at start and end of operation so that's perfect i'm not going to change anything retract uh, 0.65 absolute perfect top of stock is 0.45 absolute that's fine depth is absolute but i'm going to change it to zero as you know our z0 is on the bottom face of the workpiece however i want to make sure that the tool will go through all so I'm going to activate tip compensation with the breakthrough amount 0.1. Okay. Also coolant is set to on. Click OK. So now as you can see, uh, this is a dirty operation. So we need to regenerate all dirty operations. And I'm going to select all operation now and verify. Hey, just to make sure that everything is, is fine. Okay, so here we are. Uh, I'm going to play all operations just to verify and make sure that everything is fine. So that's my uh, facing operation. Pocket facing. Spotted drill of the 3 8 inches diameter hole. Drilling. tapping okay now here we are these are the new two operations that we we did in this video the center drill and drill if i press and hold the shift key and the middle wheel of the mouse i can rotate my part and just to make sure that uh, all holes actually go through all that completes this video thanks for watching and i will see you soon bye for now